Welcome to a lesson on multiplying and dividing mixed numbers. Let's first talk about multiplying mixed numbers. Step one, we're going to convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Step two, we'll simplify if possible. Step three, we'll multiply. And then the last step, step four, we'll convert our answers back to a mixed number. Let's go and look at some examples. So the most important thing about multiplying mixed numbers is we have to convert these to improper fractions. Remember to do that we multiply the denominator times the whole number and then add the numerator. So three times two would be six plus one, that would be seven. So we have seven thirds times, here we have four times one, that would be four plus three, and that would be seven over four or seven fourths. Now we go and treat this like a normal multiplication problem involving fractions. We try to simplify first. Nothing simplifies here, so we multiply across the top, that would be 49. Multiply across the bottom, that would be 12. This is our product, but typically we're asked to convert this back to a mixed number. So now we have to take 49 and divide by 12. So let's go ahead and do that. 49 divided by 12. There's four 12s in 49. Four times 12 is 48 with a remainder of one. So remember what that tells us is that 49 twelfths is the same as four and one over 12 or one twelfth. Remember we put the remainder over the divisor and that gives us our fraction. Okay, let's go ahead and try another one. Again, the first step is to convert six and two thirds to an improper fraction. So three times six is 18 plus two, that'd be 20. So we have 20 thirds times one fourth. Now again, before we multiply across the top and bottom, we should try to simplify. Notice the four and the 20 would simplify. We can rewrite 20 as four times five and now we can see that they have a common factor of four. So now we can go ahead and multiply across the top and bottom. We have five times one, that's five. Three times one, that would be three. So our product is five thirds. Converting this to a mixed number, five divided by three, there's one three and five with the remainder of two. So five-thirds the same as one whole and two-thirds. Let's go ahead and try one more and then we'll talk about division. Here we have eight times two and five, six. We need to write eight in fraction form. So write this as eight over one times, converting this to an improper fraction, we'd have six times two, that's 12 plus five, 17 over six. Now six and eight do simplify, they have a common factor of two. So there's three twos in six and four twos in eight. Now we can go ahead and multiply across the top and bottom. Four times 17, that'd be 68. One times three is three. This is our product, but let's go ahead and convert it to a mixed number. 68 divided by three. There are two threes and six. Subtract, bring down the eight. And there are two threes and eight. Two times three is six. We have a remainder of two. So this tells us that 68 thirds is the same as 22 and two thirds. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about division now. The process will be pretty much the same. We're gonna convert our mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then we're going to rewrite the division problem as a multiplication problem, simplify, multiply, and then convert back to a mixed number. So it's pretty much the same except we have to rewrite the division problem as a multiplication problem. Let's try a couple. Again, the first step is to write these as improper fractions. So we'll have 10 over 1 divided by, this would be 5 times 3 plus 1, that's 16 fifths. Now the only difference here is now we have to convert this division problem to a multiplication problem. 
So remember, dividing by 16 fifths is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this will be 10 over 1 times 5 sixteenths. Notice how we did not take the reciprocal of the first fraction, only the second fraction. Dividing by 16 fifths is the same as multiplying by 5 sixteenths. And now it's just like the previous problems. We need to simplify this. Again, 10 and 16 have a common factor of 2. There are 5 twos in 10 and 8 twos in 16. Multiply across the top, we have 25. Multiply across the bottom, we have 8. 25 divided by 8. There are 3 eighths in 25 with a remainder of 1. So this is equal to 3 and 1 eighth. And I think we have time for one more. Here we have 1 and 7 eighths divided by 1 and 2 thirds. And converting these to improper fractions, we'd have 8 times 1 plus 7, that's 15 eighths, divided by 3 times 1 plus 2, that'd be 5 thirds. Now we need to rewrite this as a multiplication problem. So it'll be 15 eighths times the reciprocal, or times 3 fifths. And again, let's go ahead and simplify first. Notice we have a common factor of 5 here. There's 1 5 and 5, and 3 5's and 15. Multiply across the top, we have 9. Across the bottom, we have 8. And 9 eighths would be the same as 1 and 1 eighth. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching.